Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here. We got another three string cigar box guitar lesson. Today we're gonna do beginner slide on a three string. <laughs> You have a G note for the bass, a D, and another G. So the low string, or the big one, is G. The next one is a D. Next one is G. Very common, open tuned, three string cigar box guitar. It's tuned to a chord, no fingers, is a G chord. So here is my brass slide. Now you can use any kind of slide. You can use glass, metal. There's just all sorts of different permutations. So I have it on my third finger. I don't know why. I just started playing slide on my third finger. It's been there ever since. 24 hours a day since 1992 or whatever it was. Never take my slide off. All right, a couple things here. First, your fingers are really the best way to play slide. Some people use a pick. Personally, I can't stand to use a pick. I don't like the sound, but you can use a pick if you like. I'll let that slide. Slide, get it? I'll let it slide. So, my thumb is using, uh, playing the big string, and it's also playing the middle string. My first finger gets the, the uh, small string. Here's how it works. If I'm playing two strings, I've got three strings on this guitar, but if I'm playing two, a two-string lick, my thumb gets the middle string and my first finger gets the first string. Then my first finger, if I'm over here with my thumb on the big string, my thumb is going to get the big string and my first finger is going to get the middle string. So basically your thumb goes on the big string or the middle string and your first string goes to the next string. So if I have my thumb on the big string, then my first finger is on the middle string. I'm also anchoring my finger here. My third finger just kind of hangs there. It's not really doing anything. I don't really use my third finger to pick at all, which is sort of a shame. I never really learned how to do that back in the day. One of these days, I'm going to take a month or two and get my third finger finger picking. Anyway, thumb on the big string, first finger on the next one. Or thumb on the middle string, first string on the first string. First finger on the first string. I'm not even, even using my second finger at all. I'm only using my thumb and first finger. It does look like I'm using my second. And you can. Every now and then I'll do two strings. Sometimes I'll do all three. Bass gets the big one. And my first finger gets the middle one. Third finger gets the first one. Anyway. So if I play a lick like this... What I'm doing here is the big string gets the, or my thumb gets the big string. Then when I play the middle string, my first finger gets it. And then when I play the first string, my third finger gets it. Real slow, the bass note first, which I'm sliding. Middle string, first finger, first string, third finger. So it's thumb, first finger, second finger. One, two, three. Now I know a whole lot of people out there probably use all those fingers, and that's fantastic. I never did really get the hang of that. One of these days, like I said, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to get the pinky and the third finger going as far as the finger picking. It, re it really is kind of a shame, and I never learned to do that. On the other hand, I play licks that other people don't play, and it sounds unique because I don't use those fingers. So... Six of one, half a dozen the other. All right, so going back to our basic super beginner lesson here. So try this. Middle string, your thumb is on the middle string and you're plucking open. And then you're going to slide from the second fret to the third fret, right on top of the fret. And then you're going to hit the first string, so... So, generally speaking, and this is very generally speaking, you are going to be using that slide on top of the fret, unless you want to slide into the note from behind, like... 
So, go back down to the third fret, play the open big string. Now slide from two to three on the big string. Now hit the open second string. Now slide up to the third fret. So, big string, second fret, slid to the third. Now we play the middle string. Do the same thing, and we play the first open. Now, look at this hand. There's lots of different ways you can pick. For this little uh, exercise, I'm using my thumb. And then I'm going to use my first finger. Thumb again, so real slow. So I'm op I'm playing an open note and I'm sliding. So, go to your first string. Try this exercise. Use your first finger on the first string. You can use your thumb too, I suppose, either way. Play the second fret. Slide to the third and then go back to zero. Open. Do it on this middle string as well. like without a slide so you can see exactly what I'm doing. That's the first string. And the first string is the skinniest so it doesn't have that big fat grinding sound that the other ones do because those are wound strings. If you really want to play really cool slide with a really great tone, use a wound third string on these uh, three string cigar box guitars. You'll get lots of balls, lots of volume, lots of grinding. It'll sound more like this. <laughs> strings are wound, bigger tone, more grinding, more, I don't know, ballsy, whatever you want to call it. If you don't like that sound or you want it a little bit more mellow, then don't use a wound third string, which is a third string on a six string set, by the way. It happens to turn out to be your first string on a three string. Hope that makes sense. So, a little exercise for you. What you want to do is slide up one fret or two frets for accuracy, and you want to put that slide right on top of the fret. You can always slide down too if you want to. Notice that I'm sliding right on top of the fret when I stop my movement. If I go past that fret, Sounds awful. Unless you want that effect, and sometimes you do. Right. But it does take time to be accurate when you learn how to play slide at first. So if I want to slide to the fifth fret, for instance, your vibrato, which is just basically wiggling the, the slide. You want to be right on top of the fret. Now, you can't see the fret, obviously, but my slide is right on top of it. If I go a little bit sharp, it sounds a little bit sour. It sounds bad, like I'm really drunk, which sometimes is a good thing if you're playing blues. I'm not advocating intoxication, of course.
So that's the basic technique. I'm using my thumb for most of those notes and my first finger for some of the others. The other thing I like to do, thumb on the big string, you have your second finger on the first string and your first finger on the second string. I play chords and I pluck all three at the same time to get nice big fat chords. Now my pinky is anchored on the guitar. fingers not being used at all. I'm using my thumb, my first and my second fingers. And my pinky is anchoring. for a couple of minutes here. Slide up to the fifth fret. Third fret. Open. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm sliding from the second to the fifth. the first riff of rolling and tumbling. Here's the second riff. So let me show you the slide version of that that lick there, not the whole thing. Obviously the beginning part has slide in it already, but I'm not gonna do this syncopated funky thing. I'll show you how to do the easy beginner way to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm choking with this hand. It does take a little bit of practice. If you are uh, do that with a regular fretted guitar then it's no problem to do it on here you won't have to change anything just do it exactly like you did so if you have that syncopation kind of thing going on on a six string it's really easy to move it over to a three string now here's the real easy non-syncopated version i'm only using my thumb Fifth fret, third fret, open. Now the funky part is. So what I'm doing is going from second to third. Mute with this hand. If you don't mute with that hand, you're losing out on a whole bunch of really cool licks. It does take some time, though. It does take to take some time. If you haven't played that, uh, learn how to play that on a regular six string, it might take you a few weeks or even months. Depends on how much time you put into it, obviously. But that is really, in my opinion, critical. You don't always have to do that choke, uh, that funky kind of a choke thing, that chokey kind of funk thing. Sure does help. So rolling and tumbling. playing slide the slide world slide guitar world is really fun 
lots of songs you can play. You can actually play slide on natural tune guitars as well. It gives you a whole different kind of a sound when you play slide guitar. People really like it when I play live. It's relatively, I would say probably a little bit unfamiliar to a lot of guitar players, so you don't really see a lot of guitar players playing slide, at least around these parts that much anyway. <laughs> So just remember, thumb, first finger, second finger to get started. Your thumb goes on the big string, and your first finger goes on the middle, and your third string goes on the first string. Jagshouse.com, been making cigar box guitars for... Oh, let's see, since 2010, over 4,000 sold. One strings, two strings, three strings, you get the drift. Six strings, all sorts of things. Diddly bows, dog bowl, resonators, jagshouse.com. If you like my channel and you like my lessons, please subscribe, tell your friends, etc., etc. And we will see you next time.